In today's episode, I will be making a DIY LED ring light. These normally cost upwards of £100, and I'm hoping to make the whole thing for a little under £20. The tools you'll need to build my ring light, a multi-tool, a jigsaw, a drill, a glue gun. Materials you will need, some MDF, an IKEA light, some aluminium tape, some wire, a screw, pencil, some wooden button, some LEDs, and some sticky back foam. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the centre of my piece of MDF from which I'm going to cut my ring. Now I'm going to put a screw in the centre. Okay, now I've got a screw in the centre of the board, I'm going to use some wire to draw a perfect circle then I can cut out the outer edge of my ring. Attach the wire to the screw in the centre of the MDF, then using the wire, attach a pencil to the other end and draw a circle on the MDF. Once you're done, remove the screw and get rid of the wire. You can either repeat this method or I'm going to use this paint lid. Taking the paint lid, I'm going to stick a screw in the centre and then I'm going to screw it in the middle of the board and I'm going to draw around the paint lid. So I now I've got a perfect circle. Now if I draw around this, I've got my ring. When I'm finished with the lid, I'm going to take the screw out and I'm done. Now I've got my ring shape, I'm ready to cut it out. But before I do that, I'm going to want to think about how I'm going to mount this wooden ring to something like a tripod stand. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to square up this edge so that it matches this one. I'm going to keep one of these corners. So when I mount it, I can use this piece of the wood to mount it. And then I'm going to cut off all of the others. So I should have it round on three sides with a square edge. Now using the jigsaw, it's just a case of trimming my piece of MDF to my markings. So now I've cut off all the corners, I've got something that looks like a giant Google you are here marker. So now I just need to cut out the centre and then that's where the camera will sit when the light is on. So using the drill I'm going to use this hole drilling bit and I'm going to just drill a large hole in the centre of the board so I can get the jigsaw in and then I can cut the inner section of the ring out. something to attach it to. So in order to attach this part of the soon to be ring light so that it goes around the camera, I am going to use this clamp off of this cheap IKEA lamp. So I'm going to take this clamp off here, I'm going to attach it to the back of here and then this will be able to attach directly to the tripod that I'm shooting on so I don't need to set up two tripods. With this cheap IKEA light you also get this mounting which is for putting it on the wall. I'm going to use this as a spacer then I'm going to attach this and then I'll be able to clamp this to the tripod that I'm shooting on and then I can attach all the lights and it'll be job done. Making sure to insert the bolt before I attach the mount to the MDF I simply now need to bolt the clamp onto the mount. 
I just need to tighten up the nut and I'm done. I'm using a nylock nut here so it shouldn't come loose later on. And it's job done. Okay, now I've done all the dirty part and I've got my ring, I can actually make it light up. So this is the bit that's actually gonna make it light my face. I ordered these off of Amazon. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of LED lighting systems. I also ordered these. Don't make the same mistake as me and go for the waterproof ones because there's pence difference because these ones aren't as flexible so you're not going to be able to get it around in a circle. So the ones you need are this type. You can see here they're, they're paper backed and you've got a bit more flex there. The ones that are waterproof are like this. They're domed, if you can see that. They've got like a, a coating over the top um, that stops the electronics being penetrated by water and that means that they're not very flexible. So they're only gonna be good in a straight line. So I'll probably use them in the studio. So I'll still use them. But the cost of these, um, the ones that I ordered were I think ten pounds for 150 LEDs across three meters. So uh, I think that's going to be plenty. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with my ring light is I'm going to use some of this. This is aluminium tape or aluminium if you're American. Um, aluminium tape, and I'm going to put this all the way around the ring so that it reflects back the light when I install the LEDs and they make it look a bit you know a bit more professional than just the bare wood. Okay so I have now wrapped the entire thing in uh, the foil. This is what the back looks like. Um, so I'm ready to start attaching the lights around the ring and then the camera will fit in here. So you'll never see the ring light on camera but it will light up my face. Um, so the aluminium foil that I've used, I'm pretty sure is quite expensive. Um, I happen to have some laying around but you could just as easily use some tin foil or paint it white or not bother. Um, but I think that looks kind of cool with it being reflective and I think it will help you know push the light back at my face so I would recommend it but like I say you can always use tin foil rather than the expensive aluminium tape uh, incidentally I also had the MDF line around and the IKEA light but I'm pretty sure they still sell these lights and you can pick up MDF from wherever. This is, I think, perhaps five millimeter thick. It's quite light. Um, I didn't want to make it too heavy, so I wouldn't advise using chipboard or solid wood or anything. And um, yeah, so let's attach the lights. Okay, so these lights are self-adhesive. So I'm just gonna pull the backing off and I'm gonna start down the bottom here so that I can add the connector. And then I'm going to just put the lights around the edge. Also going to start on the inside so that this cable can go out of sight on the back. I'm just trying to keep the actual LEDs flat and to the inside. So I get a nice consistent light.
and where it's puckering is just the other stuff. So the lights will be all evenly spaced around the inside of the ring. So I've just got back round to the end where the connector is, so I'm just going to then carry on looping around the outside until I run out of lights. Okay, so I've attached all the lights and at 40 centimeters diameter, I've got about four and a half rows. So it finished up at the top and it went pretty much all the way to the edge. I had space for it to come around here, but I've run out. So I was only expecting maybe to go around three times and I didn't work it out. I just knew how big I needed it to be around the camera. So now for the moment of truth, I'm actually gonna link these lights up and see if my light works. Using the clamp from the IKEA lamp and two scraps of wood, I can now attach the ring light to the centre pole of the tripod. Using the multi-tool, I contoured the wood so that it fit around the centre pole of the tripod. I've then used the sticky back foam on the inside of the pieces of wood so that it clamps firmly around the centre pole and doesn't slide down. The camera will then be positioned in the centre of the ring, allowing the light to be all around the centre of the camera. So the final product looks something like this. It attaches to the centre pole on my existing tripod and then the camera will be placed here. I'm shooting on this camera currently. But the camera will go here. So the particular set of lights that I bought come with a remote control and an infrared sensor and does about 48 colours. You can adjust the brightness up and down and you can even set your own. So uh, for 10 quid you can't really go wrong. Maybe at Halloween I can do red. So let's connect this bad boy to the camera. See what you think. Okay, I've now set up the ring light. At the moment it is off, so I'm now gonna turn it on. What do you think? I think it gets this side of my face. Do I get those nice rings in my eyes? I do. Um, and of course, you know, if I need a warmer tone, or, you know, I wanna look like I'm out of Wicked or something red. Um, I can change the colours. This is what it looks like here. So you can see it sits around the edge of the camera. It's attached down here. I think it will be a good addition to my lighting of which I had zero. There we go. That's my DIY ring light. I think it makes quite a big difference. Um, you'll be seeing it. Well you won't be seeing it. You'll be seeing the effects of it in a lot of my future videos. So I think overall I am happy with the result. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. If you're going to have a go at building it yourself, um, shoot me a message or link me to a video where you've made yours and I can have a look. That'd be good. And let me know if you'd have done anything differently. If you wouldn't and you like the build, then give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't yet and you liked this video, then please subscribe. Um, otherwise, I will catch you next time.